Welcome to today's game in which we have tonight a super feature in which we have the Dunedin Falcons facing off against the Tarpon Sponges. Let's get ready to take it down to the field. Referee is taking a look at the clock here and getting ready to give it. And here we are as that ball is going to be passed back to Ehrman and he will initially send this one down to the Strikers. Batista gearing up for the throw in. Terminator gearing up for the throw in, connects with Jack Attack. He'll send this one over, tries to connect with Ehrman, which he does. He'll do an L turn with the right foot back to the left and then over to Superman. Reset back over to Brian, a.k.a. Kanye West. Terminator back over to Noah. He'll take a look downfield as he is wearing the mittens today, channeling his inner mitten for Sparrows. Hernandez trying to send this one down, looking downfield for the right strike, not able to connect. The cleaner will throw this one in, a.k.a. Clay, the cleaner. Jack attack inside with the left foot, tries to Iniesta it back. Midfielders for the sponges, absorbing the actual moistness from the turf. Automatic start will, he'll try to connect with Urban. A little too much on the pass, though. Falcons coming in with two, uh, with a record of 2-0 for the uh, 2024 in continuation with the 23-24 season. 
but with two wins in a row will they be able to actually be victorious with this particular game here Ermin with the settle not able to maintain it Ten trying to make something happen here as Terminator will try to actually bring it up into the midfield Superman behind the back and pushes it out to the right rain starting to drizzle down Terminator getting back into the picture and Nicola will push this one no that's Hernandez clay no <laughs> who is it it's Madden with the stop in the box as the sponge is trying to test Madden's ability great pass down behind and it looks like they're gonna call an offsides here gearing up there's a nice little stop by Hernandez sending it down into the attacking third there will Jacques be able to put something on this one he takes a shot with the left but misses it still able to maintain possession getting a little feisty there in the box a couple of little elbows there given by each little uh, an actual forearm as Gabriel will gear up for the corner kick at least it looks like Gabriel hard to tell from this angle here but the rain is starting to pour down he gives the signal into the box here tries to connect unfortunately nothing there the cleaner tries to get a touch on that Superman the only thing that could stop him is kryptonite let's see exactly what he can do as he connects with clay sends it into the box and that will be stopped by the sponges goalie Clay getting a stop on the ball. Trying to connect with the midfield, maybe the left strike there. Clay with a little bit of pressure there, not allowing that pass to be too easy. And the Superman will send this one back over to Jack Attack, in which he'll look downfield. Jacques opening up, trying to be available here. Jack doesn't make the pass there, does have a little bit of pressure. Ten with a quick turn around. Ehrman with some pressure. Send this one down. Automatic start. We'll take a look downfield. Will's going to inside with the left foot. Sends it over to Superman. Reset because of the defensive pressure. Ehrman not able to get the settle here in which the Falcons really trying to move that ball. That's one thing that I'll definitely notice here is between the last game in which they played, I believe it was Gibbs, um, and then prior to that, the communication has been increasing game <laughs> game per game uh, so each additional game there the communication has definitely been increasing um, this is two back-to-back -back games with rain uh, but it looks like the cameras do have the appropriate umbrellas today as the midfielders for the sponges really trying to make something happen here Terminator really not allowing any, anything easy on that side Jack attack with the stare down to number 10 as he will look over to his defensive backs and see exactly who is going to be available number 9 says I'll take it it looks like he is at the right back position 10 with the left foot way off the mark but Sponge is definitely a little happy with still being able to get the actual shot off as Will will take a look. He's trying to switch the field. Unfortunately, Tin's going to intercept that one. Will cleaning up as Clay will clean up as well. Ehrman utilizing that tall frame of his, not allowing anything easy, heading that one down. Terminator not allowing that to materialize for the sponges as they are trying to attack getting very close to their goalkeeper Madden Noah sending this one downfield but it looks like the center backs for the sponges will send this right back to the left striker with a little bit of pressure here by Clay Clay cleaning up there so I Clay with the throw in, he'll send it out over to Noah inside of the left foot. Great possession so far. Falcons able to settle that ball down as Jacques going to take a look downfield. He is also wearing his some mittens as well. Yes, they're gloves, um, but uh, technically I guess you could say that they are gloves. But looks like Noah and Jacques channeling their inner spirals, a.k.a. mittens, as he is out today with an injury, gearing up and saving his... Uh, saving himself for tomorrow's game against Largo nice little foot magic there by the Terminator connecting with Ermin tries to connect with Jack attack or impossibly yes no 
As the goal kick is awarded, number 15 gearing up to send this one down. That's Dawson sending it down to about the 37-yard line. Falcons with some great pressure there with Gabriel, uh, and it's possible that may have been Leo. One great thing to see here is how the midfielders are super active for the Falcons. Assisting on the offense and defense of responsibility. Superman over to Jack Attack. He'll push it out, tries to take space. Turnover at the 50-yard line. They'll send this one down. Noah jumps forward, but Hernandez says, I have it. Eventually now back over to Noah, connecting with Ermin. Ermin the Superman. He'll take some space here, a little bit of foot magic. Resets, give it back over to Automatic Start, back over to Kanye. Kanye inside of the right foot, tries to send it down. Handball is called as Flash was ready to try to be on the receiving end of that. But the call was made as Hernandez, yay! Looks like the wrong sport there as the field goal was good, but the shot was not. Dawson with the goal kick again. Superman able to stop that one. Flash trying to make a play on that. Superman back over to Flash. Superman with the shot here. And Flash as well. You can hear the fans on their feet and Superman rallying his troops. Encouraging the front line there as Will. Automatic start creating a lot of pressure. Heavy on the ball there. Ball sent down past the midfield. No, would have got a quick settle. A little bit of pressure there. Feeds it over to Hernandez. Kanye will send that up to Will. Will to Ermin. Ermin back over to Will. Gets bumped here. Not too happy with the contact. That's 10 and 10. Kanye back pedaling. The cleaner sending it back over, connecting with Ermin. As we're looking down at the sheet, trying to figure out what is the name of number 10 on the other side. Noah tries to cut in to contain there. Terminator in. Yes! Great save there in body mechanics as Jack Attack tries to make something happen there. A little bit of give and go possibly for the sponges. Get it, get it, get it. Terminator, Jack Attack, and Noah all in on the action. Ermin getting physical there as well. Falcons heavy on the ball. A reset in the midfield. Nine with outside V turn into Jack Attack as he'll let that one go out of bounds. Maybe not a V turn. Looked like an inside V actually as Flash will run this one down. Gets bumped here. Dawson heavy and physical. No call on the play. As the referees are letting them play, Superman tries to make something happen, but Dawson's going to send this one over. 20 is going to run this one down as Daniel tries to actually recover it for the sponges. Ermin looking down, trying to connect with Superman as he has players on the right and left trying to feed Jacques. Actually, not Jock, it was Jack he was trying to connect with as 10, I think that's Garrison or Garvin. For the sponges. Over the shoulder pass Superman to himself. As they gear up sponges for the throw in. Ermin trying to fight his way through there. As the sponges able to actually look downfield. Trying to connect with the midfield, actually with the left strike there, but the cleaner not allowing that. That's one thing you don't want on this field. If it's dirty, the cleaner will clean it up and come with a number of different saves and destroy any possible opportunities that you can try on them as a shot on goal is made. Great curling action as that ball was curving to the right or actually curving from the right to the left as Will tries to get heavy on the ball there. 
Passes back over to Noah. He'll whip it back and reset back over to Hernandez. Looking downfield, he'll reset. Nothing going, but he'll pass it back over to the mailman. Ready to deliver to Superman. He does. The only thing that can stop him is Kryptonite. Still with the ball. Dribbling for his mother's birthday today. Happy birthday, Caroline. Mailman sending it back up to Jack Attack. He'll send this one down. Trying to find Gabriel or actually Leo. Superman with the ball. Jacques taking the space there. Tries to pass it back over to Flash. Flash over to Leo. Leo over to Jack Attack. Inside of the right foot. Tries to dribble it back into space for a possible shot there. Maybe with the left foot. Slide tackle by Dawson. Pushes it back out. Jack Attack trying to feed it into the box. And we got ourselves a goal here. Flash with the connection from Jack Attack. And just like that, the Falcons are up 1-0. to zero. Great ball movement. Unbelievable. And the fans are on their feet here. See if we can take a look here as Jack Attack will push this one out. Look at the lead pass there. Nice floater connecting with the flash there. Unbelievable connection there. And you can hear the fans. Look at the roly-poly by Jacques. Perfect form on that roly-poly inside of the five-yard line. And look how excited he is. He is amped and the energy is ridiculous. Just spilling out all types of electric ions and charges from the flash and we are here one to zero falcons are up on the sponges sponges trying to absorb that one to zero shot but they are still not giving up as their defenders and midfielders eagerly get back the cleaner trying to jump in and make something happen there automatic start will reset this one sends it back over to noah he'll connect in with tries to connect with the terminator not able to get the actual pass there or connection as that ball's rolled out to the mailman aka the train or the locomotive ball passed in there slightly light he may be getting used to the mittens there but who knows as ermine tries to actually shoulder that one over or head it referee not happy with the contact here and we'll be get ready for a kick awarded for the sponges it's a high flyer. Madden keeps an eye on that one, able to grab that one down. As that ball rolls out of bounds here, as you can see, the Falcons being coached by Amanda Cummings and Coach Niels for the assistant in which he is, I do believe this is, I want to say his third game, in which he is on a day-to-day -day lucrative contract deal that's undisclosed at this particular time. Um, I do know that the amount that he is awarded is uh, quite high quite high for um, uh, industry standards but nevertheless no I'm joking here but here we are ball sent up Leo trying to make a run here Jack trying to get a settle on it which he does feed Superman in which he'll try to send it right back over to Gabriel Falcons in their attacking area there but the defense for the sponges not allowing anything easy as they are down one to zero having to deal with that midfield a collision in the midfield as well as Will did actually help break some of that up the cleaner back there with Will as Noah will get in on the action as well, not stepping up and not allowing the easiest shot, but the sponge is gearing up for a corner kick. Communication left and right for the Falcons and the sponges as that ball's passed down to Superman. A little bit of dribbling magic here. Referee, he'll backpedal, showcasing his ability there to avoid the ball, not interfering with the play. As that ball's sent down, Let's see if Brian can actually get on top of that one, but it looks like the sponge is able to make sure that nothing happens there. Cleaner with the throw in. And then the pass back into the box or slightly outside of it. Onto the right side. It's a possible shot here. It's a pass to Superman. Look, look, look at that one. And you can hear his family and friends 
and look at that everyone it's a happy birthday special message from Brian Batista in which underneath his jersey it says happy birthday mother much love not able to read it word for word but I can tell you one thing there's a proud mother on the in the audience or in the stands with a great surprise from one of the leaders on the Falcons so just simply amazing as we are here on a water break in which this water break is sponsored by Caroline's birthday from Brian Batista's mom here but here we go ball out of bounds Luigi gearing up for the throw-in back over to Noah he'll whip this one back reset over to Hernandez in which Noah saying pass it back over to the cleaner cleaner will take a look downfield takes a little bit of space connects with Will in at the center back position there center midfield as Leah will run this one down Sponge is not able to actually absorb the splash on the field during that slide tackle there but the goal kick is awarded as that ball sent down it's a huge boot great settle by Will the automatic start over to Ehrman he'll send this one down slightly further than anticipated for Jack Attack as the sponges will gear up for the throw in Ehrman again utilizing that tall size here that tall frame heading that ball down really helping the Falcons maintain possession as Will automatic start utilizing that body to maintain possession as well Kanye over to the mailman mailman trying to deliver sends it down and connects with Leo in which that ball is going to go out of bounds Clay with the throw in headed there by Dawson as he runs it down Clay will head it over to Ehrman as well kicks it up passes it to himself or actually heads it over to Leo or is that Rodrigo Rodri Rodrigo back over to the cleaner trying to clean up the mess Urban into the midfield Falcons still trying to work their way up dealing with the sponges defense and the midfield Kanye sends this ball tries to connect with Leo back over to Ehrman Falcons in need of really switching that ball as they have plenty of space on the right side as Noah is going to run this one down and try to shield it <laughs> Kanye with the long boot jack attack trying to get into the available space there but the defensive wall as that ball comes into the camera one angle here Luigi gearing up trying to see who's available Noah backpedaling making sure that he is available to take the space as Jack attack will try to make something happen there that's Daniel number 20 trying to make sure that he's in on the play trying to get possession for his sponges as Tarpin trying to work their way down the field it's just not as easy as they thought it might be dealing with this Falcons team with a new coaching staff, new plays, new player rotations. The chemistry is building every day and you can see the energy just flourishing on the field. Falcons knowing that they have a tough one on turf field and a wet turf field as at that as the cleaner sends a wonderful lead ball downfield connecting with Rodrigo he'll try to make something happen as that ball will get sent out of bounds the only ball in the stadium with the proper air pressure is now out over the fence after getting the ball back headed over into the box there Superman with the ball And just like that, it is two to zero, ladies and gentlemen. Two to zero. As it's late here in the studio, we'll try to keep the replays relatively low. As he looks over at his mom, look at the smile on that face. The only thing that can stop him tonight is kryptonite. That'll be in there. As Daniel trying to make something happen there from the back. Dawson as well. Clay sends it out 
up top over to Rodrigo. A little bit of miscommunication there as that ball's chipped out. But the Falcons still able to maintain possession here as Ehrman tries to connect over to Rodrigo. Over to Leo. Leo back over to Rodrigo. A little bit of pressure there, but still fighting his way through. Tangled is Leo. Clay tries to clean up. Will's going to cover and get a foot on that one as Hernandez will look over to the left twice and once to the right. A feint to the left brings it upfield. Kanye making tracks on the field. Passes it over to Luigi. Send it. Not sending it. Eventually over to automatic start in which he'll look downfield. Connecting with Superman. Superman over to Leo. Looking for Rodrigo in which he's able to connect and then back over to Superman trying to find Leo to the right in which Falcons in their attacking area not able to get a shot off. The passing was tremendous. Great settle yet again. Actually not too, not, not the best settle but for as high as that ball actually went you thought it would go a little further there. Uh, Will known for actually getting some great settles in that midfield as Hernandez will try to make something happen there. Not able to settle the ball there. Oh it looks like it's a little bit further than anticipated and Madden's gloves might be slightly wet in which he was able to get his hands on that ball but not able to actually bring it down. Nevertheless, the defensive wall there for the Falcons, they did talk about it. It is now two to one in which the Falcons are up. As Clay tries to get ahead on that one, Will's gonna send this one out of bounds. But this game is far from over because the sponges are very quick to absorb knowledge on the field and make the uh, make the appropriate changes and adjustments there as there's a collision in the right back of the field for the sponges attacking area Madden able to send this one down close to about the 30 yard line that's 20 Daniel juggling the ball to himself there turn around Luigi trying to make sure 10 is not able to turn the corner seven gearing up sponges in there attacking third there Noah's gonna send this one down out of bounds close to about the 30 yard line seven gearing up he's also drying off the ball as well as will high on the ball shoulders it not able to get the best pass out of the box in which they're already outside of the 36 but trying to really get something going there as Batista will get the ball from the cleaner cleaner takes a look downfield backs up in anticipation for a huge connection to Leo, not able, no, that's Rodrigo, not able to get the best settle. Clay delivering an outstanding ball. You could tell he was about to send it far because after he settled it, he backed up two steps. As Coach Amanda and Niels look on at the midfield, Superman resetting back out to the Clay. Clay back in to Superman. Pass is intercepted there. Will with the containment. As Garvin, he'll try to work something here. Passes it over to the right. In which number one channeling his inner mitten. As that ball's turned over, Rodrigo looking over to the left. He'll send that one down to Superman. As Brian Batista trying to run that one down, but great defense by the sponges. First two. Come on, Luigi. Luigi really trying to contain there. May have received some additional information from his brother Mario. Come on, come on. Definitely some guidance sent via text from Mario and Luigi. Great communication and great video game as well. And speaking of Mario and Luigi, that is also on, one of on, Daniel's on. favorite video games there, as he mentioned. On, no. As the mailman delivers that over to Luigi. Sends it back over to the mailman, a.k.a. the locomotive. Ermin back over to Luigi. Luigi up top trying to connect with Jack, but Daniel's Amen. able to get in Amen. on the interception there. Turns it upfield. Sponges close to their attacking third there, and the cleaner is going to run this one down. Oh, As that ball's bobbled, Sponges 
down around the 10 yard line on the football turf field. Clay with some containment as Daniel chips that one in. Mailman able to get a foot on that one and send it out as Ehrman will also step up, not allowing any easy shots here. Batista will step in there as well with a little bit of containment. Everywhere that ball is passed by the sponges, there's a Falcon readily available for containment and stoppage. A little L-turn reset back out to seven into the midfield. There's Will, hands on the hips. Great steal. As they're tangled up, not happy with it. He is uh, number 11. That's Dimitri talking with his players and the referee as they were tangled up as their referee for the, the I'm sorry, the actual coaches, coaching staff for the sponges also talking to the players, telling them to calm down. Let's just get this one going. We're doing great. Keep your cool. Keep your composure as we do have a player down. As the Falcons gear up for their kick. It's a boot. Unfortunately not into the net for the Falcons. Ehrman trying to make a play connecting with Batista. Batista over to Rodrigo. Rodrigo trying to take some space there. Passes it over to Leo. Left foot inside of the left foot. Not on target, but one thing we did notice from the previous game is that the Falcons are really beginning to get a number of shots off. And that's one of the things that they've struggled with earlier in the year as Mailman will send this one down, connecting with Batista. Batista over to Jack Attack, who goes down. But yes, as we were mentioning, as Kanye will send this one into the box, headed by Superman, but that's going to be grabbed up by the Sponges goalie is yes, the Falcons are getting a number of shots off, which is amazing. Their defense has done exactly what they needed to do throughout the season, but we all know that the midfielders and the strikers really needed to step up their offense of attacks here as Luigi channeling his inner Mario hood. Coming up with the great containment and stop is What's Luigi up, as they gear up for this corner kick for the sponges. As that ball sent in and it gets past the defense in midfield. And just like that, it looks like it is three to two. Unless we're missing the score here as that ball's passed into the mailman. Mailman back over to Leo. Connecting with Rodrigo on the sideline. Luigi with the ball, he'll send this one downfield. A great pass downfield as Flash gets bumped. Hopefully he'll be able to rejuvenate. But an outstanding pass there by Luigi sending that one down as Nico, number 30, will gear up for the actual kick. Tries to kick through the sponge's wall. As that ball is grabbed up. Sent down to about the 45-yard line. Headed is Luigi trying to make something happen. Leo will reset this one back to the defensive backs here. Sponge is resetting, looking downfield, connecting with the midfield. Number 10, he'll try to reset. Nice little foot magic here. It's a 1v2 and 3 turnover as he really needed to get rid of that ball. Maybe he didn't have any availability. Settled off of the chest as Nico trying to make a play here as he fights through, almost grabbed up. And we are live here at the half. In which I believe the score is 3-2. to two. We have a lot of game here left. As we did mention earlier, the one thing these sponges are known for is, a, is absorbing the knowledge on the field, pun intended, and making adjustments as they gear up for the kick. 
on about the 30 yard line. Attacking on their goal. Fans yelling left and right. Ball sent out. There's a shot, but the Falcons are everywhere. As Noah slides through the slush and the rain and the wet turf. As the sponges looking to score on this corner kick on the Falcons goal Fal uh, Falcons able to actually defensively come up with a stop here as Nico's going to run this one down that ball is going to be stopped here as 13 throws it in connecting with the defensive backs here number two doesn't get the best settle Clay will clean this one up, throws it in. Brian doesn't get the best settle on there. Sponges with the ball. A feint to the left, passes over to the right in the midfield. Sponges really getting closer to the Falcons' goal. Bulldozing their way through. Clay's going to go down. He'll hop right back up. As Madden will look downfield as the Falcons try to regain their shape. But that ball is going to go right over. Still in bounds. Batista with the ball. He'll look over to the right. Con a lot of containment by the Sponges there. A great lead ball there. Let's see if Nico can do anything with it as the Sponges goalkeeper runs out and makes an outstanding play on that. And the no corner kick, but Clay will actually throw this one in from the touchdown area. So slightly to the actually to the right of the sponges goal box. As that ball will be sent down, Will will take a look downfield, utilizing his body to shield that. There's sponges all over him. Send it. Nico sending that ball into Rodrigo, and now automatic start will send this one in. He'll take a pass with the left, but you can see the splashing of the water on the field really building up as that rain has been on and off throughout the first half. Clay looking to see who's going to check in and make a play. Gabriel tries to take some space. Jack not able to get the settle. Ehrman's going to chase this one down, but Sponges are now trying to work their way out the backfield and work their way up at least to the halfway point, but not able to do anything there. And Nicola will gear up for the kick as the referee is not too happy. Into the box that ball goes, but Sponge is able to turn around. Defensive mids working their way up. Sponge is close to about the 35-yard line, but great containment by the Falcons. Clay not allowing that ball to pass at the 50-yard line. Automatic start at the 43 as we're utilizing the yardage lines on the football field for the soccer game here. Pass downfield. Kicked out of bounds. Falcons working their way up close to about the 23. Inside, Will's going to head this one closer to about the 15. Sponges, midfielders with the ball trying to switch the field. Rodrigo and the rest of the Falcons really trying to pinch them in, not allowing too much ball movement past the 50-yard line, in which the Falcons are awarded with the turnover, but the referee not happy with the contact there. As the kick is awarded, ball down now around the 40-yard line. As Rodrigo able to get a foot on that one. Batista back in on the play, causing the containment here. Falcons, or the Sponges, forced to pass it in. They try to connect with the Strikers, but Mailman gets in and delivers justice with the left foot, sending it down as Daniel goes down, but hops right back up trying to make a play for himself and make something happen for the Dunedin Falcons as Rodrigo intercepts or really steals the ball shall I say and Nicola will gear up for the actual throw in here and possible opportunity there for the sponges as the cleaner one man to beat but Clay able to shield that ball and not allow anything to materialize for the sponges connecting with Nico he'll take a look over to the right connects with Will that is into the midfield not the best pass it was read by Daniel Tries to make a play. Tries to make a play in which Daniel has a number of fans in the audience here. <laughs> go, 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 go. 
13 fanning his players in, in the direction that he wants them to go. Rodrigo trying to put a foot on that and the cleaner will send that one out of bounds, not allowing that ball to get into the box as Clay talks to the rest of his troops and backpedals to read the eyes and the vision of the person that's throwing the ball in. Noah's gonna head this one out, not taking a chance here. They will have a corner kick, but sometimes you gotta just get that ball out of there by any means as the mailman sends that one out. As the sponge is trying to turn around and attack with their goal, with the actual Falcons goalkeeper on their backs, but they're not able to get anything going here. As the foul, as the sponges are actually pushed back. Win it, win it, win it, win it. Rodrigo, with some body mechanics and some upper body strength, takes a look downfield to the right, switches it. A great lead pass out to Nico, in which he'll get tripped up. Fans not too happy with that, but it looks like the referee is still letting them play here. As you can hear the fans, as that ball's in the air, talking to the players saying on, first two, on, fir on. as in they, they would on, love on. for the Falcons to be the first ones to the actual ball, in which Clay will send this one down. Sponge is still with the ball, Will heavy on the ball, Noah's gonna come in, send that ball down to the midline, past the midline as it's still in. Gabriel's gonna run this one down as will Daniel as well trying to get that ball Falcons getting closer to the sponges goalkeeping area here as Rodrigo's trying to actually deliver this ball in Gabriel misses he takes all the actually works himself around two players in which he'll eventually go down great dribbling there by Gabriel trying to extend this lead for the Falcons as they are currently up again it's three to two and as they gear up for this corner kick Time is of the essence. It's a high flying ball here. Not where they would want it. Looks like Nico has the ball there. Low center of gravity. A little bit of foot magic. Sends that ball out to Nicola. Nicola into Batista. Slightly out of his reach. Will's going to try to work his way for this as Clay will send this one up. Nicola heading it back up to Daniel. Not able to get a play on that. Nicola will send it back over to Daniel. Daniel up to Batista. Batista taking the space, turning around, looking upfield. Switches the side over to Nico. A little bit of dribble in here. Crouches over with three players in front of him. As Hernandez will send this ball into the box and Superman will try to get a settle on that one. It goes slightly further than anticipated. Sponge is awarded the goal kick as Dawson will gear up for the actual goal kick. First two, first two. Come on. And that's a low ball that's able to work his way downfield as Noah will step up and not allow that ball to get too far. Sponges with the ball around the 50. And Rodrigo not allowing them to turn up field. But Sponges with the throw in on the far side of the 50 yard line. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Brian looking downfield at the midway on, point, trying to connect with Flash. Ball sent a little further than needed. As the throw in on into Rodrigo. Rodrigo looks over to the right but takes the shot. Passing percentage by the Falcons. Come on, Will. Definitely above that 67% range, at least for the second half, as their passing as a team is definitely something that improves every game as well. As Rodrigo settles this ball off of the chest, Batista tries to back pass it. He thought that Rodrigo was still there. Sponge is trying to actually counter attack now. But the Falcons able to recover defensively, keeping their shape. Daniel stepping back, trying to stop the containment there. Sponge is still with the ball, working their way up. There's a shot on goal in which Madden's going to clean that one up. He'll take a look downfield, trying to connect with Nico. 
not able to connect sponges working their way up close to about the 30 yard line Daniel's gonna try to get a foot on this one chases again down he'll have to cut back and try to contain here as there's a roly-poly in the back here as number 10 not too happy with the physical contact here as the referee will talk to them ball sent in the box they at least they tried to send it into the box Hernandez able to break that up sponges with a possible opportunity here as a Jacques back down to the sponges attacking area here not too happy with himself as that ball went out of bounds sponges trying to throw it in on the far side around the 10 yard line Batista heading that one back over to the 30 Sponges trying to protect their goal box area now sent down as Noah's going to head this one over to Nicola. Nico putting his hand up saying he's readily available and he is going to receive that ball. Inside with the right foot takes a shot. Not able to connect and you can see the frustration on Daniel's face and body mechanics there as far as the gestures. But they were able on, to dodge one here as Dawson will send Brace this one here. down. Come on, Clay. Clay sending it right back down in which the sponge is trying to protect their goal area where the Falcons have their ball close down to the 40-yard line. Batista will take a look downfield, reset back over to Clay, the cleaner, sending that one back over to Nico. Nico's going to nutmeg one person, dribbles down. He's got one person to beat, which is Daniel, I think. And boom, oh, he's going to nutmeg him as well. And that ball is going to be cleaned up by... One of the defenders on, for the sponges as clay will settle this one off of his chest not sure if that was a pass or a shot but nevertheless here we are with ermine trying to head it down a little bit of a collision there with jack and number 10 garvin As the right back for the sponges around the 40 yard line far side trying to attack now getting closer to the Falcons goalie area as Jack will head this one once head it twice tangled up there Ehrman will eventually send this one down sponges defensive wall at the midfield sending it down to their attacking area in which Madden will clean this one up as Nico puts his hand up, letting Madden know that he's readily available, at least possibly going to make a run. Madden's going to send this ball down, in which the Sponges, <clears throat> excuse me, able to stop that at the midfield. Sponges maintaining possession here, but Jacques is going to get a foot on this one. Dawson's going to send this one up for the Sponges, trying to make something happen as Clay will run this one down. A throw in to Nico inside of the right foot settle but that ball is going to go out of bounds as Nika will showcase the under the legs back pass to Clay Clay sends this ball into Nico as Dawson will break this one up Clay looking to see who's available Jacques will get a foot on this one sending it down to Nico Faints to the right, or actually to the left, and pushes it back out to the right, but not able to actually work the defender off of him. As Tice will try to get a settle off of the right shoulder, and that ball for the sponges with the possible break, trying to have something materialize here. As it doesn't look like that ball actually entered in there. Clay around the 47-yard line trying to connect with Batista up over to Jacques up top. Falcons with the ball close to around the 40 as Ehrman will get the settle with the outside of the right foot trying to feed Jack attack in which that ball is going to be slightly broken up there by the right back for the sponges as Nicola will gear up for the throw in slightly outside of the 50 on the far side. Sends it into Jack attack with a little bit of pressure and some foot mechanics. That ball is going to be turned over. Gar Garrison Garvin 
Uh, not sure what the name is on the list there, but Ermin throwing it in from the far side of Out of Bounds area. And again, the Sponge is really trying to defend their goalie as the Falcons are trying to actually set up a type of play, possibly around the 30, outside of the 36. Dawson's going to actually chop this one up. Sponge is on the attack. Daniel looking downfield, able to connect to the left mid. That's number five, sending a one, tried to actually send it in. Daniel still with the ball. Falcons really trying to defend something here, but the Sponge is working their way all the way up to the attacking area, trying to score as that ball somehow looks like it's going to be a corner kick here not sure how that actually happened there but it's a high flyer here as Ehrman's going to head that one out Dawson tries to back pass it to himself and then eventually in and Madden it looks like he's going to be able to actually get a hand on that but it looks like they were called for off sides that ball sent in Jack is going to settle this one sponges with the ball trying to reset into the midfield are the sponges are slightly outside of it now but the Falcons with some outstanding defensive pressure there and flash is gonna run this one down but he will have to deal with number five who's been working throughout this game as that ball sent in, passed up top, looks like it was a pass, maybe a shot, Sponge's goalie with the ball, on, the defenders on. walking up, trying to gather their breath there, as they have been working a lot, having to face these Falcons, which are, which are known within the last three to four games, to, and it, their, their shots have increased hey, come on, come at on, least four or five hundred percent. It's insane how many shots they're actually getting per game, at least out of the last three now. As that ball still inbounds, Nika with the ball passing over to Batista. Batista over to Ermin. Ermin to Superman, connecting with Leo, who's not able to settle the ball. Ball's going to be turned over. Five sponges around the 40. Lead ball in, trying to make something happen. Mailman heading it and delivering justice and connecting with Superman, in which he will reset. Gives it over to the cleaner. Cleaner passes over to Nico. Nico to Superman. Ball turned over. A little bit of miscommunication there. Bad pass. Sponge is really trying to make something happen. But the cleaner is there to clean up the field if anything dirty is around him you know that he's going to clean it up as he does it's clay in there to make the stop as the sponges are really trying to gear up and there he is again folks kicking the ball out of the 20 yard line area nico on the ball as daniel goes down he'll fill that one in the morning as he tries to get back into the area dawson sends it in ermin with a foot on the ball Faints to the right. Nico with the ball. Passes back to Clay. That ball's going to go out of bounds here. As Dawson runs down. Come on, Falcons! Falcon fans on their feet. Cheering left and right. Sponges fans on their feet to the left. Cheering right and left. Batista sends that one over. Jack tries to get on it ball slightly out of the foot area as that ball on the far side of the 35 yard line wiped in Ermin or Nicola that's Ermin with the pressure there and Leo as well sponge is gearing up for the throw in very close to the area it's a back pass there over the shoulders jack with the assistance in the back noah will take a look downfield mailman sends this one downfield as nico will now turn it up falcons at the 50 yard line S slightly bumped from behind flash will reset sends it over to the open man which is batista batista looks over to the right connects with Jacques. Jacques doesn't get the best settle but he is able to maintain possession in which he goes down 50 yard line are the sponges as Daniel turns up field and tries to connect but Clay the cleaner able to intercept that ball and not allow the actual play to receive the ball in which that would have been the left striker that would have received it Jacques goes down Dawson creating some physicality here Clay will receive that ball it's a high settle Hernandez Mailman in there with a little bit of containment. Hernandez, a.k.a. Kanye West. Yay, slide tackling left and right. High intensity. 
and they're tangled as two boys somersault in the box. And it's getting physical out there, ladies and gents. As the fans are not too happy with the physicality as the referees are losing control of this game as Nico talks to the fans saying that violence is not the answer. We'll see if we can. Administrative staff is on the field. We'll try to take a look and see exactly what we have here as the referees and coaching staff are on the field. Fans, again, not too happy. Let's see if we can get a replay and see exactly what may have happened here. So here we have the loose ball, 50-50. Brian comes in, 9 and Hernandez flips over. Here's the right punch, boom, into the face of Kanye. Fearing for their safety, Urban and the captain, Brian Batista, coming in to make sure that everyone is safe. Here again, after being tangled up, Urban comes in trying to help separate the two Hernandez turning around stating hey I just got punched in my face it was a 50-50 ball but we are back here referees making their calls on the field in which both players have been sent out of the game score 3-2 Sponge is really trying to make something happen there as they are knocking on the door of the Falcons. As Batista will send this ball downfield, connecting, trying to connect with Jacques, in which it looks like the Sponges have been really making things difficult for Flash today. As Clay gearing up. Jack coming across from the far end. Possible J&J connection here as Dawson will kick this one, sending it downfield, connecting with the midfield. Sponge is back on the attack. Daniel trying to make something happen there as he'll reset it back to the right back, sends it up to the right mid as he receives a little bit of pressure as that ball is going to be broken up as the Sponge is close to around the 40-yard line. And it looks like, yes, they will still have the ball. Or not, as it does look like Nicola is actually wiping this ball down as the sponges will regain their shape. Leo tries to send this one over to the sideline. What about the handball ref? Batista heading that one down and trying to get a foot on this one, but the sponge is able to turn the field, turning it up, and here comes the cleaner, everyone. What did we say? We said it earlier, when they're trying to materialize something, the cleaner is known for coming up and making sure that things do not materialize at all. Falcons up three to two, sponge is still knocking on the door here as Batista is trying to get possession of that ball as the sponges will work their way both teams playing very well more shots I would say the shots are definitely in the Falcons favor as is the actual possession and ball movement as that ball slightly outside of the goalie area there Clay able to contain and not allow the shot to be taken as Nico gets bumped Sponge is still trying to make something happen as they are trying to equalize this one here. Down 3-2, to two, Dawson with a huge throw in. A number of Falcons there as Clay's going to break this one up. Eight's going to try to do a little foot magic. He'll faint to the left, send this one, resets it back to the defenders. Taking the space, or is the pass, <laughs> or is... As Clay right back gearing up for the throw in. As 11 is called. Whatever it was, whatever was called, the referee did not like it. 
Falcons gearing up for the kick as Ehrman will look downfield, tries to send this one past the 50, 40, in the 30, now down to about the 20. Jacques trying to settle it outside of the box. Nico with the shot outside of the right side of the goalie. Falcons with a possible opportunity there as the Sponges keeping the ball in play. A little bit of fate on Clay, but still able to make He manages to get the inside of the right foot on there to kick it out of bounds. Dawson with a throw and into the box. Noah will get in on that, gets ahead on that, and Batista as well. Sponges at the 30 yard line, trying to step up and gear up for a shot, but it looks like Leo and Jack attack, not allowing anything easy as. Normally, a lot of players would, would would be able to just step into a shot, but the Falcons, pretty wherever that ball is, the Falcons are there as well. As Falcons will try to keep possession here. Right, Sponges on. outside of the box. Ehrman's going to send this one down. This way. Jacques will reset, sends it over to Jack Attack. He'll push it out with the right side of the uh, outside of the right foot. That is connecting with Nico. Pleading his case, stating he was not off sides. Referee says, yes, you were. Let's gear up, in which the sponges will kick from their own 30-yard line. Now down, in which Batista will get a foot on this one, sending it right back to where they initially started here. Ehrman coming in hot. Clay as well. Nico trying to get a settle on that one, which he does. He is no. Daniel with the ball looks over to the right as Dawson's going to send this one up with the inside of the left foot. Ehrman sends it right back down as they are playing volleyball with the ball here now. As Nico gears up, gives it to Clay. Keep going. Throwing it down the line. Hey, why are you looking at the ball? Batista will shoulder this one with the right side. Come on! Dawson anticipating some contact there with number 30, Nico, in which Nico will close in on the gap and not allow that ball to be sent down easily. as the ball chasers will run this one down as that ball sent down Batista tries to get a head on that one cleaner will come in Nico with some low center of gravity body mechanics able to get that ball through Leo with the left foot connecting with Jack attack he'll take a look taking some space takes the shot here in which that ball two feet to the left Ehrman trying to contain here. One loses the dribble here. Batista, Ehrman with just enough containment there for Batista to catch up and allow for the save. Come on! Leo trying to make something happen there. Heavy on the ball, but the sponge is really trying to turn around there. And Leo not allowing them to actually turn around. And Nico on the far side ball outside of the sponge's box will send this one out of bounds. As the ball is on the line. As Falcons will gear up for the throw in. Clay with the throw in into the box. Into the sponges box. Jacques trying to make something happen. Into Nico. In which Jacques to Nico. Just like that. An outstanding goal. And look at that, everyone. Extending this lead to 4-2. to two. Jumps on Jacques' back. Jacques showcasing the flash strength. Carrying Nico with an outstanding pass. As he mentions to the crowd, at least for the opposing crowd, to hush. And just like that, you can see it on the sponge's face. There's a lot of that moisture being squeezed outside of the uh, being squeezed out of the sponge let's go let's go let's go as batista will receive a yellow and have to step out momentarily as daniel will check in for him No 
number 24 checking in, a.k.a. Slow Motion. And that's not because of any speed, but it's just because of when he scores, he moves in slow motion, able to bend the time itself. Nico with a quick little pass over to Clay. As that ball free around the 50 yard line, sponges trying to make something happen. Now down to the 35 yard line, getting closer to the Falcons' goal. Referee not happy with the contact here as the sponges will gear up for a kick. In which that ball by the sponges kicked into the box, but Madden's going to clean that up quite well. Four to two sponges. Ehrman talking to Madden saying, hey, let's slow down a bit. That ball sent down. Close to the 50, sponges trying to pass it in as Ehrman's going to get the settle. Connects in with Nico. Jacques going to get a foot on that, but he's going to catch a cleat. He'll catch a cleat. It looked like it was his foot. But he's he's definitely holding that shin there, but he seems to be back up as the Flash known to rejuvenate in the DC Comics. So his healing powers are unquestionable. As you can see him right there, in the center striking position. And that's it, everyone. It was a feisty one today in which the Falcons coming out victorious here, squeezing the water out of the sponges. But an outstanding game for both teams in which both, both teams have had an interesting season with we believe both teams having one game left until <laughs> districts, which will be next week. Great to see the sportsmanship by all of the players. When they're on the field, it's a war. Hello and there, Noah Blair. Here we have an interview. Hi, how's it going today? All right. So, got a little fiery out there. Any pros and cons for today's game? Uh, I think pros, overall, we did pretty good. We still got to work on some stuff, but overall, we did pretty good. Okay, what about the intensity? It looks like you guys were up 3-0. to zero. They came back 3-2. to two. How did you guys handle and keep your composure? Uh... Well, we just had to keep our heads, not, not lose control. We just had to keep fighting, even though they, they, had, they were coming back. Oh, do you think that the referees could have maybe got a little better handle on the actual yeah, they, game? They could have, yeah, they could have had a much better handle on the, the whole game, including what happened over there. Okay, now how do you take the energy from today's game into the next game, which well, is tomorrow? I, well, I think we just have to do what we did today, keep our cool. And I think we'll be good for tomorrow. Any Lar shout-outs? Largo's a tough team. Largo? Mm. Mm. And any shout-outs to anyone? Uh, shout-out to my mom. Not not. Shout-out to Tori. <laughs> interesting, hey, interesting. You know? Appreciate it, appreciate it. And do you know where Nico was at? Hmm? Nico. I can't see. Is that, is that Nico right over there? Yeah, it's Nico. Hello there. Nico, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Shout-out to my grandma and grandpa. And your grandma and grandpa? Oh. to the Philippines, Alangapo City. You know? Thank you, thank you very much. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So, Nico, a lot of energy today. Yeah. It looks like you were being battled by the defenders out there. Yeah. They were putting a lot of, they were getting pretty physical out there. Yeah. How did you keep your cool and try to give your troops, you know, the actual advantage here? I was just trying to play with my team and just try to do my best. And I knew I was going to get a goal today. I just mm. felt it in here. You felt uh, it in there? Yes, bro. Gosh. Okay. Yes. I, no I noticed when there was a little altercation in the in the middle of the field, you did yell out to the fans that violence is not the answer. Yeah. Do you still stand by that? Yes, violence is never the answer. Okay. Do you feel like the referees could have maybe got a better hand? handle on today's yes, game yeah for the most part yeah okay so now that you're back with the team after your little vacation there how do you take the energy from today and actually move forward to the next game huh to motivate that we can win against largo mm, interesting interesting any shout outs to anyone huh uh, ja uh jock for giving me the assist okay and noah graham for locking in the defense interesting interesting and then All right. who else who else oh you have mm -hmm. more rodrigo and the whole team and Brian too. Okay. With that message for his mom's birthday, two goals, beautiful thing. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, Hernandez. It looks like number nine. It looks like you had him in a headlock and he did Ooh. actually land a right jab to your gut. How did you feel about that? So uh the rumors are wrong. I didn't bring it. I kinda of brought him down with me. 
<laughs> you were trying to support yourself so you weren't so you would not get hurt yeah, right, and right, and right. hold him up correct okay right, right. Uh, we're, we're, i'm trying to be like my friends you know we're mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. but then i don't know he just punched me in my face i'm like yo, number nine's your friend i don't know like you know oh okay okay, like, okay. gotcha 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 like, okay cool things out and then he just punched me in the face and i got me heated i didn't we didn't see a punch in the face he, he, oh, I, I, we did see that you turned around to the ref and you said you see this I don't, I, don't, I, don't oh. know, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing with that because, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Just, uh, now, are you moment. are you suspended for the game or anything like that? Or I'm what, for the whole season, so the whole season. Yeah, it's over. No. Yeah, it's over. Is he serious? It's over. He's not. No, he's not. Just this game. Just, just, this game. just this game. Okay. And why is it that they call you Ye uh, on uh, or Kanye West? Oh, because um. I mean, do you have bars? Do you spit sixteens and make nah, beats? I don't. I don't. Make, I don't do none of that. It's just like uh, okay. my favorite rapper and. Um, Oh. Kanye West, like, I look up to Kanye West because he's very inspirational. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Appreciate it. Oh, so one more thing. Mm -hmm. How do you move forward from today's game, bringing the energy from today and actually over to tomorrow? To tomorrow? Against Largo, one of your arch nemesis. Shoot. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. You, you don't know? Okay. Don't, can, can you help him out? I don't have media training, so my bad. Okay. No, no, no. That, that's perfectly fine. And, 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 and what, what's your name there, sir? Nathan. Nathan, Nathan, so you've seen the game today. You've seen a number of the games. What do you feel about today's pros, cons, anything that you guys can do um, better as a team? I mean, they were a pretty hard team. Mm -hmm. It looked, the beginning looked like a very even game, mm -hmm. but then we started leading it. Okay. So, like, How'd you feel when you guys were up three to zero? It looked like it was pretty comfortable. It would have been easy walk home victory, but then they came back three to two. Uh, it was, it was thrilling to be honest. Was there pressure on the bench? Uh, over yeah. there like were people starting yeah. to argue and anything yeah. like that did yeah. you hear the coaches getting a little fiery a little bit yeah yeah okay all right cool 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 any inside information that you can give us that we can actually watch back on this particular video and what do they call you what is your aka nate the great nate the great nate the great okay nate the great appreciate it man appreciate yeah. it thank you very much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we have daniel here what's your last name sir Daniel Cruz. Daniel Cruz. Okay, so I noticed you've been in there. I noticed that you do have two goals for the season. Every time you score, you are floating in slow motion, right? So first, before I even ask you the crazy hard question, uh, uh, very, uh, very interesting and difficult questions, anyone that you need to shout out? Um, my parents. Your parents and family, which they usually have a pretty big supporting cast over here. And of course, your dad over there, in which we've been talking a number of times already. So what's your secret to success? Because I do know the inside of your right foot is lethal, right? So when we see you kick that, so what are some of the pros and cons that you bring to the actual team? Well, I think um, I do like um, pretty good passes for the team. Pretty good passes? Yeah, I, okay. I, guess I, I do pretty good. Okay. And, um, but I think I need to work on more um, running back and forth mm -hmm. so my position. Okay. When we get pressure, um, I have to come in more. Okay. And I have to practice more um, spreading out and getting open. Now, you are you working out during the off season? Because I noticed it seems like every game you seem to be doing something slightly better every game. So what do you what are you doing outside of the practices that are helping you improve in these games that we're seeing? Well, um, I work on my uh, I try to work on my leg strength. Your leg strength. More, um, more like more powerful shot, maybe like more on um, longer passes. Maybe. Okay. And how exactly are you doing that? Are you run doing heel runs? You working in the weight room? Um, Mostly runs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, how do you feel about the increased minutes that you've been getting per game? Feels great. Feels great? Yeah. Happy to be out there? Yeah. Okay. Now, are you... So, anything... How do you bring the energy from today's game, in which you guys have now won three consecutive wins for 2024? So, how do you bring this energy to the next game? Um, uh, I know that's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> that's a tough one. Yeah. But is there any secrets for success? Like, what are you going to try to do between now and tomorrow? Would it be a good rest? Will it be an outstanding meal provided by the family? Um, yeah, definitely a good rest. Um, uh -huh. Look at like, um, the videos that you take. Um, okay. Looking at um, our mistakes. Okay. Um, hopefully improving on that. Okay, and last but not least, favorite video game? Favorite video game? Oh, yeah. And don't say Fortnite. I, have, I like Mario. You like Mar Mario? Oh, he's a Mario brother. Okay, okay. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate it. What's the score, boys? 4-2. 4-2, baby. 4-2.